Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about FET. Yeah, FET was today one of the uh, better performers, and it's reached nearly the first target here um, that we put onto the chart for Circle Wave 1. But as I explained, ideally, Circle Wave 1 provides us with a clearer five wave structure yeah before completing and i would like to have those five waves completed and we might just be in the third as you can see here i would like to have those five waves completed before breaking above 74.9 cents this is at least the key level to watch we can allow that wave one to get to stretch to the 78.6 extension which is at $1.13 but ideally not higher then the risk will be that it's going to be bearish afterwards. I know that counts that that sounds a little bit um, that might sound a little bit strange, but the problem is if we stretch here in this move to the 100% extension, then we have this wave and this wave as the same length connected through a corrective structure, and there you go with your ABC structure, right? And then it can break down. So what we want to see is that the price either forms um, a wave two from here, from here, or from here. So from the 40, what is it, 40, uh, 42 cent level, or 75, or $1.12. They are all levels to watch. If you ask me, it looks like we are going to stretch a little higher. So to possibly the 61.8 extension at 74.9 cents or even the 78.6. Um, the thing is, at the moment, I only have a wave one and a wave two. I need a wave three complete, then a wave four and a wave five. So depending on how strong this third wave is in white, um, we can look at which one of these is more, more the most probable one. Either way, um, the focus remains on higher at the moment. There are two wave counts. There's a bullish one, which is the white wave count which assumes that, yeah, you know, a wave one was uh, created and topped here in 2023. The move down was a wave two, and we're now in this third wave. And in the third wave, we have five waves. And this is a wave one, two, three is in the making, four, five. These five form only circle wave one. Then we get another wave two, three, four, five, and that's how it, it goes higher. And that would be a scenario in which we can move to a new all-time high. Okay, explained that also in the previous video today. Now, looking at resistances, however, there's also the potential to get a more uh, immediate rejection here. And this would be a scenario in which this wave two that I just showed you, which presumably um, completed in August, that this never completed. In fact, it's just an A wave, a B wave, and the C wave is gonna follow later, deeper into the orange support area. In this support area, yeah, the price still has space. So only really below 8.8 .8 cents, this chart will turn bearish. Until then, um, overall, we can carefully focus on higher. It's not a great chart overall, but um, if we talk about a one, two setup here, then the wave two can stretch out all the way to the 78.6 FIP level. And that is at 8.8 .8 cents. So that means even if this particular rally does not hold and will not go to new highs from here, but breaks down, we would still have another chance and the price could still turn around either here at the 61.8 retracement at 13.3 cents when we come down again or at the 78.6 retracement at 8.8 .8 cents. Nothing I'm primarily watching for at the moment. At the moment, the idea is that we have a good chance to push higher, especially as long as the general uh, sentiment in the crypto market is as positive as it is right now. We see some altcoins move up. Yeah, it's been a bit of a face change in the crypto market. Uh, we recognized that mm, a week ago. So that was about the right time to um, to highlight that things are starting to move. Okay, now this move up, um, yeah, at the moment is not broken. What is reliable support? Well, I would use as a first, um, it's just first guide that things start to break. The 50% retracement level, that's at the moment at 26.9 cents which means that we don't want the price to get below the 26.9 cent level um, at any time. It would then also break into the wave one price region. We want to avoid that. So for now, the trend is up. However, also watch the relevant Fibonacci resistance levels here. Yeah, 37.2 cents and then 46 cents are relevant resistances. 
Yeah, not much more to add, so the uptrend is not broken. Again, it could just be a three-wave move. Better probabilities that this is going to be a more lasting uptrend will only be obtained once we have five waves up and three waves down. And as soon as we get five waves up, I will indicate a support area here for circle wave two. That could be a setup for the price to rally higher in a third wave. That's my update about FET. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.